Hi everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. I'm here today to do a little bit of decoupaging. What I'm going to be making are these guest check pockets. This idea came from Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper. I love that she made pockets with the guest checks. She did it as part of her M Scrap Busters out of scraps. And I didn't have the same guest checks as Melina. The ones I've got, the colours on them are very bright and I just wanted to... I wanted to still see that it were a guest check, but I didn't want that big blue blocky writing on it. So I thought, ooh, what if I decoupage? So I did. So I've got a selection of napkins here that I'm going to be using. And I've just decoupaged the whole front. Uh, I've just put a few little words on from Mr Tim Holtz. And I stuck a butterfly there because I messed it up a little bit in the middle. This one I didn't mess up, but I still stuck three butterflies on. And some more little words. And yeah, you can pop anything you want in pocket. In this one, I've used one of my journal cards I made in the Collage Masterboard in a recent video. I will link that in the description box underneath the video. Just click where it says more and you will get to all those links. Uh, this one, yep, yeah, again, I've put a, that's an unfinished tag that I made from the Masterboard. So I like these because they're not going to add an awful lot of bunk, bunk. Not going to add bunk to your junk journals. We, well, I like to put bunk them in our junk journals. I don't know about bunk. They won't add a lot of bulk. So, yeah. And if you're thinking, oh, you can't decoupage onto paper, you can. This method I'm going to use that I learnt from Fiona, who is Miss Paint a lot here on YouTube. Fantastic crafter. It works lovely on paper. Don't get your paper too wet. Right, let me show you. So I'll take a leaf out of Margaret's book over at Seven Plaza. I'm doing a lot of name dropping today, aren't I? Yeah. I've had no mojo, you see, so I've been watching a lot of people. So I've got them all in my mind. Right. So you'll need some guest checks. Well, I'm saying you will. Not necessarily. If you want to decoupage onto anything else and make a pocket, you can. You don't have to have the guest checks. But I've got quite a few, so I'm going to use them. Uh, I like to decoupage with matte gel medium. I just do. I like it. So I use it. You can use Mod Podge. There's a deco patch and there's quite a other few things that are available, particularly in USA. So you need some matte gel medium, the brush that you're going to use. I like to decamp my medium into these now. These were a Happy Mail from Treen. Thanks, Treen. And they're perfect for this. And I've got a selection of napkins. So let's have a little look at my napkins. Now, you're all going to ask where I get my napkins from. I get most of my napkins, well, I say most. I get, when I buy them myself, I normally get them off eBay. There's a place called Helen's Homewares and she sells napkins in packs of four. It's, it's about, they're about £1.50 for four, which I don't think is expensive. And I think I got this one from Helen. And I love this one. This one is going to be perfect for these tags. If I open that out, yeah, look how many I'll get. I'm calling them tags and they're not. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to use that one today. I think I'm going to use this one today as well. This, uh, I like these because you can have it that way up or that way up. And it still looks the right way. It's really cleverly designed. And you tend to get four... All four corners are the same on these napkins. Yeah, so I'm going to use that one, I think. That one's a bit dark, but I just thought I'd show you some of my napkin stash. I have had quite a few in Happy Mails as well. I do apologise if I can't remember the name. I might use that one, I like it. The mainly flowers, butterflies and birds. <laughs> that seems to be what I like. Um, I do prefer ones with white backgrounds when I want what's underneath to show through like these guest checks that one's nice but very busy so I don't think I'd see much at guest check that's one I've used many times you can just cut an individual flower out of that and decoupage it on oh I like that one that's nice that must have been a happy mail one got a big butterfly one I think that might even look nice half a butterfly on so we might, might use that one so I've got a little pile of maybes now aren't I that's not in the maybe pile yeah, I've used that one before. That one's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, love, I love that. <laughs> that was a happy mail. I've been saving that for a project, a special project, and I've not used it yet. Yeah, so there you go. Like I said, 
that was definitely a happy meal. I tend to like my flowers, my butterflies and my birds. So yeah, quick squint at my napkins. Like you can hear kids playing outside. It's school holidays here now in UK. That's my neighbour's kids. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of you say you like to hear life going on behind me. So there's a lot of life this week. Right, so I'm going to grab my guest checks. I'm going to get, what I've done is I've torn this little strip off. So you get your guest check, don't you? Then you've got your little tear off strip. And I'm going to use that for something else. So we've not got to deal with covering the perforation up. I That will make a brilliant ticket on something. Could cut that up into pieces. So I'm cutting my bottom strips off while tearing them off. So just do them all at once, woman. There we go. So I've got quite a few. We'll do one at a time because I'll get only get my knickers in a night if we try and do more than one. So I've got my little tub. I'm going to see if I've got enough of this uh, matte medium left. Pebio, it's oh look at that. She's in a mess already. Let's see if I've got enough of that left. It's my favourite one. I have tried a different brand. Liquitex. Now you might think, ooh, that's expensive, but they have got this basics range. That cost me £10. That had gone up to £5 on Amazon, which is 100ml. So £10 for 250ml was cheaper. I have to admit that I don't like it as much. So I'm going to, ooh. <laughs> ooh, sound effects. Oh yeah, I've got enough to do a couple with that. Not quite as empty as I thought. Mind you, I've not used it for a while, so it's all had time to fall down to the bottom. Right, so my glue's out ready. I've got my guest check. I'm going to ink my guest check up. If you look at these, I inked them up before. It will, Ink will stick over it, but you can get more on and it'll stick better if you ink underneath. So, grab your favourite ink. Ooh, I'll answer a subscriber question as well. I've only just brought this to mind, so I don't know the name of the subscriber. Someone asked me why all of us junk journalers have ink pads that are all coloured and filthy on top. Now, they're both the same ink pad. That's my old one. That's my new one. My new one is staying pretty clean, and that's because I've changed to using the domed dobers. When I have the flat one, and I know a lot of people do the same, when we put it to store on our desk, we do that. Dober goes on top. Because that's now domed, I have to lay it like that. So it's not got inky on top, so I can see what ink I've got. Yeah, just I just thought I'd mention that. Interesting little point for the day. I think they play monsters next to her. Wee. Right, so I've got my glass mat out. Just, I think it's easier to ink when you want to get more on the surface. I cleaned it as well. I tried doing this yesterday on my prototypes after I wiped some glue off and it was still sticking. It was terrible. It didn't work. So if I do all my inking first, that's one. Now I'm going to grab another guest check and this time I'm going to ink that side because I want to glue that to back to make my pocket. So get that inking done. This should thrill all the fillices. Oh, there's a lot of chatter in my comments about <laughs> all, the, all the Phyllis's that uh, asked me to show more inking. Well, she didn't ask me to. She just said that she likes to watch inking and she's quite sad people cut all the inking out. So I did some special inking for Phyllis. And I've got to be honest now, there are so many Phyllis's who watch me who've commented. I can't remember who, which Phyllis wanted me to ink more. I just can't. Right, let's do that one. I'm just going to clean this ink off. If I'd have thought on, I'd have had a piece of fabric here ready for that. Because I do like to clean my ink up with bits of muslin fabric that I can then use in decoupage. Then I'll just dry it. I'll move glass mat and all six foot. If I had more room, I could have got my black Tim Holtz one out. To be honest, I think I can see a bit better on this, actually. My camera likes it a bit more. I just paused there while little lad next door got told off for screaming by his mum. Oh dear. Right, let's decoupage. So I think I'm going to go for 
this one first. I really like this one. Yeah. And I want it to cover that side. Then we'll see that number better. So I like to cut my napkin up before I take my backing off. So I'll grab my big chompy timmy scissors. And I'm going to put my guest check on. I'm going to cut this a little bit wider. Because I might want to move it over and see a little bit less of that. You, you know what I mean, don't you? You know what I mean. I don't think he heard you. Lauren is still screaming. <laughs> Wee. Yeah, then I'll just cut it to crease. Very un untidy, very unstraight, very not neat. Now I'll get my backings off. I like the damp finger method to pull them off. If that don't work, if I have trouble, then I might get a bit of sellotape out. Whee. There we go. That worked nicely. So that's going to go on there. Because I've cut it a little bit bigger now, I can just play about with the placement. I think I do want... Yeah, a little bit like that. Then I might stick another butterfly up there. Yeah, I like it. Now what I do is I don't put any glue underneath onto the surface that I'm gluing onto. And this is the method that I learned from Fiona. Right, which brush shall I use? I've got my Tim Holtz one. Sometimes that's a bit stiff when I'm decoupaging. Sometimes it does... We'll try it, see what happens. If I rip an hole in it, I'll start again. Yeah. Right, I also like to start with a damp brush. So rather than running off to uh, stick it under the tap, I'm just going to spray a bit of water on it from my water bottle. The damp brush really does help. It doesn't tear as easily when your brush is damp. Right, and pop it in. Yeah, this Pebio uh, matte medium is much thinner than the Liquitex one. I think I'll need to water that Liquitex one down. Try not to keep going over the same area because that's what's going to rip me napkin. And I'm going to keep doing it while I tell you not to do it because I am a bugger for it. I think it really is a do as I say and not as I do situation this. Oh, that's looking good. I'm liking it. Traditional decoupage techniques where you put a layer of glue on, then your napkin, and then another layer of glue. I've never been good at that. I'm too heavy-handed. I think this is a bit more forgiving because your napkin's not already damp when you're going over the top of it. So it seems to work better for me. And I can sometimes get too hung up on trying to stick the edges down and end up ripping it. Like now, like now, I'm going over it again. But you can always come back in and sneak a little bit of glue underneath. Now that's looking good to me. So grab yourself a baby wipe. Use Timmy's little trick. That's what Timmy does. He'll wrap his brush in a damp baby wipe so it doesn't dry up while he gets to his next project. I'm semi-organised and I've got my heat tool plugged in ready. I'm just going to try and lift that away a little bit. Yeah. And I'll just wipe that glue off. Sometimes I can't always do that. Right. Now let's come in and dry it. I'll trim the edges off after I've dried it. Right. Sometimes you might see a little bit of bubbling and it's very tempting to want to come in and get your brush over that again. But usually it shrinks out. And if you have still got a big bubble where you're missing a lot of glue, wait until you've dried it and everything around it's dry and then just come in and do it. You're less likely to tear your napkin then. Right, let's turn it over. And have a go from this side. Yeah, it's going all wonky. It does. It'll tend to flatten out as it all gets evenly dried. And the pockets I made, after I'd stuck them together, I did put them under my 
mat for the night. That tends to sort them out a bit. Wee, crispy, crispy. <laughs> Put it back that way now and it will flatten. Right. Also, these edges will tend to make it want to curl up. So that is now dry. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to come and cut this excess off the edge. Do it with your trimmer if you want. I find this easier. Whee. I like my big scissors for this. The blade is right up to the edge of the paper and I'm going to trim. I'm then going to get another little blast with heat gun and a lot of that curling will disappear. Whee. Be careful, don't cut the paper woman. You don't need to cut the paper. I'm going to have to cut them in bin, they're really too small to use again. I'm sure there'll be a use from out there somewhere, but we can't save every teeny scrap, can we? We just can't. We just can't. Yeah, also, I mentioned Melina. Check out, I think a lot of you lovely lot have come over to me from Melina and her mum, Edith, Missy, at scrapbooking with me. Uh, she did, she did a uh, video last night with the napkins. It's like, wow, great minds think alike. That's, I feel, yeah, I'm like, wow, I've just put myself in the same category and I don't see myself in the same category as Missy. She's got far more experience than I have. But yeah, she did something different again with the napkins. So yeah, bob over there and have a look as well. Right, I'm just getting my art glitter glue. And can you see that corner? Just ticking up a little bit. I'm just going to put a teeny bit on. And just, there you go. You could have done that with your brush, but that was so small, I just thought I might make a mess with brush. Whee. There we go. So that's that. Right, I'm just going to give that a little blast from the back. Try and flatten it a bit more. There you go. Now, I am the kind of person, I don't like to tea dye envelopes because I don't like them being wobbly. But I can cope with this amount of wobble. Now that, that looks gorgeous. If you t It's like when you curl, curl ribbons, if you tend to do that towards the edge as well, it will make it lay more flat. But that's looking pretty good. I like it. Now I'm going to put a little thumb notch in that corner. And I'm, yeah, it's my new favourite thing to make my notches with, my hexagon punch. I will use it for something else eventually. And I'm just going to take little divot out of there and I'm going to grab this yeah these guest checks I'm using I don't know if they're all like this I, I honestly don't think they are it's upside down on back so make sure when you, if you're doing it like I'm doing I'm gluing that on the inside because I just want that bit on the back yeah make sure you turn it round and I'm just going to ink that little edge there as well now this is where I then come in and ink in and it don't run as smooth because I've got glue on my mat. That, that weren't too bad. I've cleared up a little bit, a little bit better this time. And that's that. So now I'm going to glue these together with the art glitter. I'm going to put my art glitter onto this one. I find it easier because it's completely flat. Whee. Oops. Yeah. Am I using art glitter or barely arts today? I'm using art glitter, I've labelled them so I know. Why? Because I picked that one up first. <laughs> Lots of times that is really the answer. In fact, I don't... I do like the barely arts now and again because you get a bit more wiggle room. I think I'll save it for those times. I'm saying I won't buy it again. I've got enough to last me about two or three years. So, yeah, we'll reassess in two or three years. Right, and I'm just going to pop that on. Line up my corner as best I can. Pick it up, get a little bit of a swidge if it needs. Swidge, is that a new word? We've just invented a new word. It's a swidge. Don't know what a swidge is. Right, now that, I'm going to put that straight under my mat to flatten and to stick that glue down. So there we go. Right, while that's doing, should we do one more? Yeah, let's do another one. 
Do you want another one? <laughs> I'm I'm quoting now from the film Mamma Mia. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone seen Mamma Mia? Have you seen it? I love it. Absolutely love that film. I think I need another dip in my ink. <laughs> you don't need to bang your ink that hard. What did I say? I'm heavy handed. Yeah, I just am. Yeah, it's, I think that is that from... I don't know whether that's end at film or middle at film where they've been singing on stage, Donna and the... I always want to say Donna and the Dipsticks. And it's Donna and the Dynamos. And she's like, do you want another one? Another song? I'm like, yeah, we'll have another one. See, this is not working as well, is it? Because I've got glue on my mat. I keep bending my edges. I should have I'd made a bit more effort to clean glue off my mat a bit better. You can hear it, can't you? It's probably naffing up me. What's it? My sponge. I could, of course, use a different part of my mat, you know, off camera, so you can't see what I'm up to. But that would not please Phyllis, would it? No. Oh, I've got a message for another subscriber as well. Carol, get your craft stuff out and crack on, love. It's no good sitting watching me and never crafting. You need to crack on and get some crafting done. Yeah. <laughs> You've probably noticed, my regular viewers, I've... I have got to that point again where I just can't physically do all the comments uh, So I can't answer all the ones but I do read them and I've started to just jot a few down that make me chuckle So I can remember to mention them Yeah I've got a little book for doing it and what, what have I done now? A lost book So I've remembered one, let's have a look What I needed to say, so that's Carol M, yeah Make sure you're crafting along and not just watching Oh, and Marty Marty come up with a brilliant idea And I'm not sure if I can actually do it She wanted to see an accordion journal with, journal with sewn in signatures And beads hanging off bottom And I, I'm like, yeah, that's a brilliant idea, I'm going to do it And then when I start to think about the logistics of doing it I'm like, that's going to be a strange It's going to have to be a strange big book, isn't it? So I don't know. It's in my mind, but I can't see me getting around to it to, too soon. But I do think I want to do some kind of binding with beads on. Hmm? Right, that's that. Now let's get this other napkin. This is the one I want to use for this. It's big, this one. It's a really... Is it any bigger? I don't know. It's just folded up different, isn't it? Yeah, it's no bigger woman. I'm talking absolute rubbish. Don't put that in your glue. Where's your pin gone? There it is. Put it in your bottle. I can hear there's people screaming, isn't there? Ooh. Put it in your bottle. Right. So, which bit do I... I want that bit because I do want some white. So I'm going to cut that from up there. The bottom, I could... Yeah, it's big enough to use for something else. Yeah, I'm going to cut that from there. So grab your big chompy Timmy scissors. What's all that's got a that's got a little elephant on. That's as though it's already got a little label on. That would be brilliant for something else. I'm guessing that's the brand of the napkin, but my eyes are not <laughs> good enough to see that. They're just not. Right, try and cut as close to a crease as you can, missus. There you go. And then cut off what you need. I'm going to cut it to crease because I want that top right corner. I'll try not to cut my fingers doing this. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? I don't think these ends are very snippy, are they? I'm not likely to cut my sen. Wee, wee, wee. Plop. Right. So, yeah, I want that top right and corner. So I can cut a little bit more off. So I'm not wasting too much. So yeah, then I could do a little, perhaps a little pocket or something with that bit. That's an idea. What about a, what about if I did, you could do a what's it? Yeah, yeah. What, what am I on about? I don't know. Don't know how you're supposed to know and I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, a master board with pieces of napkin. I wonder if that would work. Mm, I don't know. What would the overlaps be like? I don't know. 
But there's only one way to find out, isn't there? And that would be to try it. Right, I might have to crack sellotape out here for this one. It does not want to come apart. I don't even know whether this is a two or a three lane napkin. We'll see when we get one off. I still don't know. It seems thick, but not that thick. So that's one layer off. You can decoupage that onto something, you know. I thought about just putting some plain on and then you can still decorate it up. Anything you just want to knock back the brightness. Yeah, just do that. Just do it. That's stuck. Right. I don't know what I'm like. I'm not going to get that sellotape. It's like it's a battle of wills between me and the napkin. And I don't even know if there's another layer here. Grab your sellotape, woman. You're losing this battle. Here we go. Do, 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 do. See? Do you know what I mean? Finding end on the sellotape is also a battle with me. I'll cut a piece up, off because I don't want to... Apparently this is a good way of doing it. Oh, there was another layer. Look at that. Wowza. Yeah, it's really stuck. Hmm. We did it. Whee. Oh, there's quite a bit of colour on that as well. You get like a little ghost in. Oh, look at that. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. But there's like a little ghosting of the image. Oh, we need to look after that piece. Put that away before you stick it to something important. Like your mouth. <laughs> no. Well, some would think that, wouldn't they? Yeah. I had a comment of the week. Uh, great, project, pro great project. Too much talking. I'm like, thank you for your feedback. <laughs> right. Where did napkin go off that? Did I use it for some? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't really know. Right. Do this. Ooh. I've just remembered and I've just, <laughs> I've just remembered something I forgot. I did a video a while back and I kept breathing on my napkin and it kept blowing away. I think it must have been when my asthma me about that. And I was doing far too much breathing. Yeah. Don't, don't breathe too much. It's bad for you. And someone said, put a little dot of your matte medium underneath the napkin. And that's a brilliant idea. And I forgot. But I'm not doing such small bits of napkin this time. I'm able to hold it. Yeah. It's another one for top tip book. Don't breathe too much. It's bad for you. Yeah. It's bad for your decoupage. I'm not going to go left handed again. Because that were a bad move last time. We were just lucky that that didn't go all squiffy. I think, anyway. Whee. So you've got to see this twice. It gives the other one chance to dry as well, doesn't it? I think that's good. I mean, there's a few little wrinkles, but I like that. If I bring my others back again, it, it adds a bit of texture. Some people try and do that on purpose. I am blessed with being able to decoupage badly, so I think it just happens for me. I don't have to try too hard. Right, don't go back over it because you can rip your napkin. It's like talking to a brick wall, isn't it? Oh, I've just I found that napkin now and it's fallen onto my butterflies that we're going to cut up. So a couple of them have got a little bit damp. Right, I need to get another... I'm trying not to weigh. I don't like to use too many baby wipes. I've not got the biodegradable ones at the minute. Whee. Sit back down. Pull that up. There we go. Oh, oh. You've mucked up your corner, woman. Stick a bit of ink on it. No one will know. There'd be right. No one will know. We're not looking for perfection, are we? We're not going to be graded on this. There's not going to be any decoupage police. The waffling police might get me. Yeah, I'm a repeat offender. Right, there we go. So, let's dry this one. Whee. I might sort that top corner out when this gets a bit drier. Yeah, I've got my noisier heat gun. It does it a lot quicker. 
So I'll just shout, I'll raise my voice. Oh, I do like this one. I love that pink. It's really nice. I'm just going to pause and see what's occurring with this top corner that I folded over trying to pick it up. The reason I like to pick it up off this glass mat is, I should have showed you really, if you leave it stuck down, all the all the the moisture just ends up between that and your glass surface because your edges are stuck down. I'm just I'm just gonna make this worse, aren't I? Stop faffing, woman. Oh, I've done it. I've done it. Uh -huh. Right now, keep drying. Mm. I sort of dry this side till it looks dry. And then I'll have a go at the other side. Mm. Looking good. I think that's dry enough to trim my edges now. And let's trim it. Whee. Oh, I think kids have gone in for the tea now. <laughs> They were playing shops the other day and they were paying in dollars. We're in UK. I've got no wrong with dollars. But dollars. Yeah. And I've said this before and I'll say it again in case you're thinking there must be some loud children if you can hear them. Our houses, I live in what's called a semi detached house. It's basically two houses joined together. So, yeah, the kids are playing very close to my window you get we just get used to it i've lived here for 14 years and i've had three different neighbors who've all had kids the houses really aren't big enough because well i'm in the third non-bedroom it is the third bedroom which isn't big enough to get a bed in i think people quickly realize that and then they have to move when kids get older you see but I'm single, so I just moved other two into other double bedroom between them. So yeah, I've had three different lots of young'uns next to her. You do get used to it. Whee. And like I say, it doesn't bother me. I've lived above takeaways and stuff. Yeah, it's far worse than kids playing in this world. Far worse noises, isn't there? Whee. Right, I'm just going to give that one another blast. That's what I forgot to do. It's so the blast on back after cutting. Because there is still a bit of moisture in it. There we go. And I can just see a bit where I've not cropped close enough. If I need a bit of glue on my edges, I can do it. But I think they're okay on this one. Right, I'm going to bring that one back in. Grab my punch. I'll put my thumb notch slightly higher because I don't want to chop through that flower. I'll, I'll do it slightly higher than I would have done. It's not too far above centre. And then let's glue these together and I can whack them under the desk and bring that other one back out. And yeah, decorate that. Right, I've lost my glue. I thought I was staying pretty tidy today. Oh, I'll put it back where it belongs. That's weird. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Let's just no. I'll glue. I'll clear that when I've glued this. I don't like a messy mat, you know. This is why I didn't do these. Armelina did them because she sprayed them with ink. Yeah. I've got ink sprays. I do do a little bit of spray now and again, all contained in a huge cardboard box. Oh, yeah, it's it's the ink spraying on things around that I'm afraid of ink. I'm afraid of ink, it would seem. I need an inky challenge, I think. So get me over my fear of ink. It's not like I'm afraid of ink like I'm afraid of spiders. No, I don't think it's going to come and get me. I just don't like the mess. Whee. I'm one of them people... Untidiness does not, don't faze me, mess. Dirty, inky mess. That's like, no, we can't be having that, can we, Deirdre? No, we can't, Julie. 
Don't know, I'm talking to Deirdre, not Gertrude. She's very quiet today. I think she fell on the floor. Poor Gertrude. Right. That looks good. So I am now going to pop that one under my mat and bring the other one out. So put you under, mate. So that one's come out from under my mat and that's lovely and flat now. And yeah, the longer you keep it under, the flatter it will stay. This might want to curl again, but I'll just put it under my mat for at night. Right, just clean your mat up a little bit, Miss Sis. Just because it's annoying. It's very annoying. Wee. I need to get another inky cloth. I need to go and steal one of my old tea towels to use in craft room. Wee. Lots of wee's today, isn't there? When I'm doing out fast, I have to go wee. Right, so that's that. I like it. That doesn't need much doing to it at all, does it? Because it's just gorgeous as it is. So I'm just going to come in and ink the edges a little bit. As you can see a little bit of white, like there, where it's not lined up 100%. And oh, I forgot to come in and ink that bit, didn't I, before I glued it? You know, I cut the notch. There we go. That's that. So what we're going to decorate it with. I have brought some flutter, new flutter buys. Um, I do have a digital with butterflies on my buy me a coffee site. And which one is it? Which one? That one. Yeah. And I just made it with the butterflies I like. Yeah. At the time I was doing a lot and I like the dark butterfly for the contrast. A few orangey ones, a few green, a few blue. And I was doing these last night and I thought I wish I had some more orangey and red and green butterflies so i came up with this one that's it printed two to a sheet that's it printed one to a sheet yeah that's just a draft copy as well and if you look can you see the difference in color this is my best quality i printed that in that would just draft to make sure it was printing okay and yeah i'm quite often get asked about Oh, what printer have you got? Your printouts look nice. My printer is quite a cheap one, uh, but I use good quality uh, paper. I don't use photo paper. I use a photocopier paper, colour photocopier paper and colour photocopier card. The brands are by varies. It depends which one's cheapest at moment. And I use the setting on my printer for printing on matte photo paper. And that is the best I find with my printer. And yeah, I like I like it. So there it is there. Printed four to a page. You don't know what happened with that butterfly there. It's just far too big for it rest. It's like he, he's the daddy. Yeah, he's the boss of them all. So yeah, I got these. So I'll print them out. I'll cut them out as and when I feel like it. I have got plenty of butterflies already cut. I might like some of these with this. I think that needs one butterfly. And I've tried to stay away from decorating with labels because lately I've got to stick a label on it. And I thought, just do something without labels just once to challenge yourself. So I did. I put some cheesy words on, as I call them. I don't know whether this is going to be a label or some cheesy words. Right, let's find a butterfly. I've got that lovely bright yellow one, but that's just far too in your face. I do like those colours, but that blends in too much. We've not got any mistakes to cover up on this one. Oh, that's a Timmy one that's snuck in. Oh, he looks nice, but he's a little bit thick. He's like cardstock. I don't want one that thick, Tim. Sorry, mate. You're not getting chores today. I just, I just don't know with the blue one. Oh, yeah, that looks lovely. That one. It's got to be that one. Yeah. I think he's going to cover that blue flower up, but I'm not too bothered about that. Yeah. He looks good there. I can see that number. I can see that leaf. Oh, he's going to go there. We like you there, matey. So, I didn't need to cut any out. I would pause. I wouldn't make you watch the pain that is me fussy cutting. I just take so long to fussy cut. Also, when I've cut things out, I like to curl those down. It stops your edges sticking up when you glue them on. A little tip there for you. Put you two away because you're not getting used, are you? Get back in your box. <laughs> Wee. 
because that is um, decoupaged and I've used the matte medium which is like waterproof I'm using my art glitter glue I wouldn't trust glue stick it might stick but I'm not gonna I'm not willing to risk it so we want you there cover that blue flower and just leave that leaf poking out you look pretty mate you really do and I've just got the urge to use a label I'm still loving these botanical labels of Miss Tracy Fox no, I don't, and it, it competes with him, no. But what about another label? Oh, sorry about that noise. I'm going to grab my book of labels. Can you see that? Is it in shot? I think we've gone dark again, haven't we? Well, we're not too bad. We're not too bad. Yeah, I think I need a black label that's going to stand out. I think that's too busy for the words. That was a little bit busy for the words to stand out I like that I like the black of it mm, I don't know that one. Oh, she's now on floor oh she's on top of my lamp <laughs> I knew she went on windowsill where she normally lives oh I like that one though I'm also into multiple labels lately oh I've got one here that says paid Come on out. Yeah, I do like this for storing my labels, but then I faff too much getting them out. I like that. Paid. Guest check. Sorry, paid. I'm not sure about that. Oh, okay. I have paid, Gertrude. Honestly, I've, I've paid. Yeah, I don't owe a penny. I want that on. I don't know why I'm inking edge. In case there's any white showing. Yeah, I, I want that. Paid. But then I might want another little label as well. I'm faffing again, I'm faffing. I think I want another one. Um, hmm, what kind do I want? Hmm. Live the dream, paid. <laughs> Live and dream. That's, yeah. That's, <clears throat> got a mortgage. Live and dream, it could be paid. Live and dream, paid, no. No, don't. Just put the paid on, woman. Stop being silly. Wee. That's it. Yeah, I think just one label on this today. Don't know. Do I want it there or there? There. There. Then we haven't got too much red competing. I like that I'm leaving that as that. That's it. That's done. Right, let's get the other one out. It's not had as long to dry. But... Right. I don't think I inked the edges as much on that one, did I? So I'll come in and give that a little bit more inking. Eee. And I'll stink that little bit. Yeah, it's definitely not as dark, but then there's more white area on napkin, isn't there? Right. So, what about that other big label? Payment received again. Yeah, I think I'm going to pop that there over that, where the, all that green is. I like it. Yeah. So, yeah. Decoupage. With a napkin, stick a label on and a butterfly. So yeah, I did have a point where I couldn't make a project without sticking a butterfly on. I've had a, a point where I can't make a project without sticking a label on. So now I've thought, rather than avoiding them, I'll just go for them. Do both. Stick a butterfly and a label on. We've proved we can do it with sentiments. I want a label on these. Right, what colour butterfly is going to look good on here? I don't know. I can't decide sometimes. I have to see it to know it. Nope, he's too dark. After audition, many butterflies. Oh, look at him. No. It's, no. I can't put same one on, can I? That's the same one, smaller, isn't it? No, we can't have the same one on. He's nice, but no. Oh, big decision. I think I want a more neutral butterfly. Yeah. 
I want a more neutral, smaller butterfly because that is such a gorgeous napkin. I don't want to cover it up. He's far too big. Far too big. Oh, Ooh, what about these? They're cuties. Oh, yeah, we could put a few of these on. Have we got three? Oh, we've got a teeny tiny one. That's the one. They're the ones. Eee. I think I'll just ink the edges of these a little bit so they show up. These are ones I cut out using me, I think I used my Cricut for these a while back. So they cut right up to the edge. I tend to leave a white border when I fussy cut. I don't know why, I just do. Oh! Every time. I'm not answering you. Because I'm doing a video. There we go. I just paused a bit while it finished ringing. Every time. I'm so jumpy. Oh, I like him. I'm going to stick them on exactly where they are before they move. Oh, do we want him on there? She's just moved it. I've just said I'm going to stick them on exactly where they are before they move and then I move them. Yeah. I tell fibs to myself all the time. Right. Mm, that might be our local uh, prospective new MP. <laughs> One of the kids said yesterday there's people. There's lots of a gang of people walking around the state, pointing and writing things down. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, the local Labour Party campaigning. And they were coming knocking around and asking if you had any issues. And I had an issue. So apparently the new prospective MP is going to be ringing me. And I'm busy videoing. So if that were him, I'm ever so sorry, mate. Ever so sorry. Right. There we go. I like that. I like that. And there's the ones I had before. So I'll just tie them my desk two ticks and then I'll be back with you. So here we go. I've moved my mat out of the way. So... They're the two I've made today, and they're the two I made previously. I really, really like those. And all I'm going to do for something to put inside is grab some of these. These are the masterboard that I cut up last time. Will that one already fit? No. So I'm just going to trim it a little bit. Come here, trimmer. I can see you. Here we go. Yeah. I think I need to trim a bit off the top, and that should fit perfectly. can sort the corners out late and get some ink on. Oh, a little bit more trimming and then I'll tell you the size. Ooh. I ought to have told you the size before if you wanted to make them without guest checks, didn't I? So let's use trimmer to measure. That guest check with the bottom snipped off is five and a half inches. So I've cut that down to about five. Oh, and that fits in nicely now. So we've got one in there and then... Ooh, I don't know if I want to cut that all the way down, but I do love the butterflies. In fact, I think the blue butterfly one would look better there, and that would look better there. Yeah. And I'll just cut this one down to five inches. I'm going to lose part of that label, but I can always stick another one on. Oh, should I just lose part of the butterfly label? Would that be more interesting? Yeah, I think it would. Yeah, and I just want to cut down the width a little bit to three inches. So I've lost a little bit of that. Had it been a fresh masterboard that I'd not cut up, I would have had that in mind when I were cutting it up. And it needs to be a smidgen less than the five, this one. Um, I'll cut a bit more off the butterfly. So it's just a sixteenth of an inch under five. So an eighth of an inch. So it's four and seven eighths. That's it. Oh, I like them. And of course you could put anything you want in them. I just wanted something in them ready to go in my botanical journals. That I've been on with these a long time off camera. 
so let's have a look now you could glue it down to a page like so or you could just go ahead and pop it in a pocket i need to make more pockets on this has that one got a pocket this one is very pocketless this one is very pocketless i need to make more pockets this one has a few more pockets and yes it has one there oh that yeah that'll look lovely in there and yeah you can see that you've made it from a guest check but that blue is just still not too in your face so i really hope you enjoyed that go and check out melina and her mum and yeah if you've got a lot of guest checks to get through and yeah between them you'll have you'll get them all used up Right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.